Hi, and welcome to IWS Motor Coaches. I'd like to take a moment to tell you about our 2014 Explorer by Renegade. So this coach was custom designed by IWS. We also went ahead and designed the graphics and chose the colors on it. So what you're looking at is a really true one-of-a-kind motor coach. You're not gonna see another coach like this running up and down the road. This coach is built on a Freightliner chassis. It's approximately 39 foot long overall from head to tail. Here we're gonna open up all of the compartments. Most of the compartments on the driver's side are all utility based, so they house something of a utility nature that's required to operate the coach. Nice thing about it is each bin has its own use, so as we look here at the back, this has a shore powered cord winder on it. There's a 220 volt 30 amp welding plug at the back, which is not only great should you need external power, but if you buy one of the Renegade Stacker trailers, we can hook um, electricity up to it via the motor coach. So they've done a nice job. All of the boxes are bed lined. In this compartment, you can see the Onan Cummins diesel generator. This is the quiet diesel. It's 8,000 kW. With this size of generator on this coach, you can run everything all at once. You won't have to do any power rationing. It's just a fantastic generator to keep you off the grid and unplugged for as long as you want. Here we are at the control station or the control center for all of the utilities. They're all housed in one side in one compartment. As you take a look inside of here, you're gonna see the valves for dumping the gray tank and the black tank. This also has a flow jet macerator system on it, so the drain hose is only an inch and a half for the sewage in diameter rather than the large black four inch hose. It makes it real easy when you're dumping this coach. Another really nice thing about this coach that Renegade's done is they've done one single low point drain. So when it comes time to winterize the coach, you just open the valve up and everything drains from a gravity standpoint. You don't have to go inside and shoot air through the faucets and everything to drain it. There's also a spray away on here that has a pressurized hose in it if you wanna wash out a cooler or if you need to spray off a kit or something. On the bottom left, you'll also notice there's a, a faucet there, an exterior faucet that you can use if you wanna wash your coach while you're on the road or fill a water jug or wash your motorcycle or anything like that. It's all right there. There's also a cable hookup for uh, external TV. We move into the next bin forward and you're gonna notice this is the bin that houses the central vacuum. There's a port inside of the coach. Inside the blue bag is the hoses and all the connections you would want for cleaning carpets, hardwood floors, your furniture. It's very handy. There's also a port here so that you can use the vacuum externally should you wanna clean one of your race cars or another tow vehicle. They've also put an extra 110 outlet in here so you have external 110 power. Here's a nice close up of the vacuum system. Now we're gonna move into the box that houses the inverter. This coach has a really large inverter in it so that you can run most of the electronics inside without the generator. It would not be unreasonable for you to run the TV, the satellites, maybe a coffee pot for seven or eight hours off of the inverter and batteries alone without the generator running. It's just a really nice feature. In this storage bay, you're gonna notice there's a gray tank here that's all covered with carpet. And then below it is the macerator system with the small hose, which is really nice. If you're ever staying in an area where you can't get to a dump site, you can actually dump this going uphill. It dumps under pressure. It makes it real easy to take care of the dirty business that goes on with a coach when you have to dump it at the end of a trip. But having the macerator system, it becomes a very simple process. This next bin forward houses the black tank and it's all carpeted covered in this bay. In this bay, you'll see all of the electrical is in here. The house batteries are stored in here and everything's very easily accessed and very well organized. Here, we're gonna show the rear slide popping out and the living room slide popping out. One of the things when we talk about quality that I'd really like to point out is just the paint. When Renegade paints these coaches, you can notice that the graphics are all painted on the outside, but what you don't see is when the slide comes out, the graphics continue on inside of the slide. They go around all of the door jams and inside. It's just an amazing effort that they put through to make this coach stand tall above every other coach. 
Now as we move around to the back, you can really appreciate how beautiful this coach is. Renegade is one of the few coaches you'll see that actually uses a 20,000 pound trailer hitch. This coach has a 2,000 pound ton capacity. Another nice feature that you can see that's transferred over from the race car world is the LED lights on the back. And these are very easy to replace. If you ever have a light go out, you can go down to your Napa Auto Parts store and get a replacement right off the shelf. I really want you to also notice just how good they look and how safe they are with three marker lights and brake lights as you're going down the road. As we move up on the coach, you're going to notice there's additional brake lights, there's a backup camera, there's five additional rear LED marker lights up here. Everything on this coach is just gorgeous. As this slide comes out, you can notice the striping and the graphics is carried all the way to the inside of this slide. It's painted all the way through. Here you can see the powered awning, which is remote control come out. We sped the camera up a little bit. It works really good. It also has a wind sensor. So if you're away from the coach and the wind picks up, if it gets over a certain wind speed, the awning will retract on its own. Here's a great feature on this coach, the external entertainment center. This has a flat screen television, has a DVD player. It's also hooked up to the direct TV and the in-motion satellite. There's a AM FM player, MP3 player, player, CD player, and it's also game ready. If you also notice to the left of it, there's also a 110 outlet over there too, so you can run additional 110 devices outside of the coach. Now we're gonna open up the storage bins on the passenger side. All of these bins are for storage and there's over 100 cubic feet of storage on this side of the coach. Notice above the wheel well there, there's a docking light that you can turn on and it shoots the lights back at an angle to help you see when you're backing up. Another great feature of the Renegade baggage doors is that they swing out rather than fold up. It just makes getting in and out of the boxes uh, with product a lot easier and a lot simpler. There's a really cool feature on this coach and that is that you push the remote control on your key fob and it locks all of the baggage compartments. I hope you enjoy the exterior of this coach. If you like what you see, give us a call and we'll set you up with a test drive. Thanks for your time.